All right, Project Dirty 44 here. Uh, we're just gonna get started back into this. It's been a little bit. Um, we're just gonna throw this engine back together since the only goal was to raise the boost port, cut the D port wall open so that it can get in there. Probably could have made that flow better, but we can always take her back apart. It's gonna be a, a simple thing. Um, I put new seals in it. Got the new seal on this side and in the side cover here. So we've got that. Crankshaft bearings look awesome. So now we gotta get all these little needle bearings put back in here and we've never done that before. There's a few ways to do it. This way we're gonna use some grease. Put it in inside here. Light coating of grease, probably easier this way than to show you guys. It's a light coating of grease. And the D44 has 22 needle bearings. The rest of them have 23. So good bit of knowledge to know for futuristics. So pretty much what we're gonna do here real quick. I'm gonna take one of these at a time and put them in. Try to show you guys the process here. That's what we're doing. Painfully. 20 well 11 times on this and then on the cap doing the exact same process. So A shaking hand and of course if I lose one of these I've got spares we're also going to replace the rod bolts with monster rod bolts on it which I've got here's the factory ones and here's the new monster 12.9 which might be overkill for this I doubt it's gonna make that kind of power to snap those I think a connecting rod would be first to go but I'm going to try to avoid that I'd really kick myself in my own rear so you get the point on what we're doing here and come right back when we get everybody uh, buttoned up and whatnot get start putting this cap on top of the other alrighty well cap check one thing you want to note there's a little dimple right there that's where you line it up to the piston inside here on the other side. As you take it and you flip it over, that has a dimple up on the front of the other side. And I know it's the exhaust side because you can clearly see that on it. It still has like some exhaust, a little bit of exhaust and everything. And also where the port matchings were at the time. So let's get this crankshaft slid in. I've already got grease around the New seal. It's like where all the fun happens. Hopefully I don't have to take that piston out. It'll be kind of, that'll kind of suck. poke down a little further you know what we'll just have to do that get the crank in and then and we only pop one ring out that's fine it's easy enough to do sorry if I got that out of view there for you guys getting that bearing set and of course the needle bearing wants to fall out on me I think I got enough grease to hold it Come on, sweetie. You too good for your home? Is that what you're telling me? That makes me wonder how I did this on other ones. We're gonna have to tap that in there. I gotta go get the hammer. Well, as you can see, that was fun. I put a couple needle bearings back in, better than that. Having never actually worked on a rebuilt a, one of these saws that has a removable head kind of a learning curve almost so we're getting there one more roller to put in here
that he just nicely falls it fells in the place here. Keeping the pressure on her. Nope. You stay down in your gut valley there. Rotate that crank as I press. Oh, no, no, no. Stay right there. All right. So you guys remember where the bump was? Double checking my own words here. Right there. bump I'm talking about it's that one right there see that bump right there above my thumb that's what we're talking about get our new rod bolts get them started get them torqued down honestly I don't know what so we're gonna go with 90 inch pounds seems to be about a standard except for my first one I did like 65 I can't remember where I read that's what you're supposed to use on it or something but it's holding so and I reused those ones too not knowing about the monster rod bolts Everybody happy? Ish. Everybody good? My daughter wants to go swimming, so I guess we're gonna wrap this up here in a moment, baby girl. Let me get this wrapped up real quick. Get these uh tightened down, cinched here, and we'll uh, we'll go. I guess you can see we're gonna be ending this movie quick here, at least for this part. But we'll get that side put back on and everything. I gotta get a gasket made, so we'll cinch that down for now. So, all right, family time's first, Saul's are later. So, there we have it. 3044 is getting right back on the road here. Get this thing together and see that nice boost port right there, just that one. Hopefully that'll add some good power to this and everything and just keep, keep on, keep on swimming, right? So, all right, that's a direction, so we'll get those torqued down here in a bit, daylight's gonna change, so get right to that in the flash. And back as promised, like two and a half, three hours later. Anyways, where were we? Oh yeah, made a gasket, just got finished, ugly as can be, it works. I didn't have a template, so did a little magic work on that. So let's get this back together. Whoa, I left this as a mess. Uh, which way does this go? Which way is this clock? Uh, nope, nope, nope. Like that. There we go. Uh, of course, I don't have a tapping device. Okay, I do. Gonna be running a Nova chip on this too, so oh, yeah. and I gotta find the hardware too. Like, say, you know what, I might not convert this one over to all Allen screws and everything, like I am with the other one. Say, Dirty 44, it's gonna live up to her name. Let me find the hardware for this. It's floating around here somewhere. Not sure what happened there. Thankfully, I looked at the video. It, uh, I'm not even sure if I even paused it, but yeah, giant bag of hardware here, and pretty much finding what fits. You know, what's going to fit and what's not. So that's what we're doing. 
We need to at least seal these bolts off with a little bit of sealer. I don't know what I did with those either. Man, I'm that. Oh no, here we go. Good stuff. Uh, pokey thing. Copper sealer stuff. Ah. Like the top cured on me again. I never win with this one. So I swore I just used this a few weeks ago. Just stab it with an Allen wrench. There we go. One at a time, these bad boys. Of course, I guess I should have drilled, drove them in all the way first before uh, putting sealer on some of them, considering, you know, it might be too long for a couple of them. At least that one out of that first one I just put in might be. I think these were gas tank ones, to be honest, at one point. Dirty bolts and all. Yeah, might as well. Dad, what do you want in the last time I had a request to go swimming. Now she wants to cut up some watermelon in the fridge. Alright, give me some time here. I think we get lucky and I get the time put into this and we start it up this weekend. I mean, I'm going to just throw its standard head on it for now. It's what I'm kind of leaning towards. And uh, make sure everything runs smooth and then we might do the dual plug mod. Dual plug head, if you didn't see that. That's our dual plug head that was custom made. A guy named Johnny. Don't know who, if you don't know exactly who he is, but you part of Mac groups or whatever. Uh, he likes Model 15s. I should ring a bell. So It's also where the Velocity stack came from. For the carburetor. That was custom made by him too. Does a good job. What engine that exactly came off of the, uh, the head I don't know. Don't ask me. I couldn't tell you for my life. I know he made a dual plug one and then he wouldn't use them anymore. He started making hemi heads for these. And uh, it's still a possibility that I could put one on this one. I mean, I have a feeling that one might be too long. I don't know. I'm supposed to torque into. I don't know. Go until you bottom out. Dirty. Forty. Four. There we go. Look at that. See? Everything turns. Now we need to torque that to spec in. What did we say? 90? I think we said 90. It's humid as hell outside, too, and she wants to eat watermelon. Ah, need my adapters. Of course, I would. I know they are excellent. They're inside. Uh, small to big. Uh, amazing how fast stuff clutters up on this. I know adapters might skew the results a little bit, but we're building for fun here, so let's see here. Yep, that's a Harbor Freight unit. It hasn't given me any reason not to believe it yet, so. So your 98 inch pounds is what we're supposed to go to. Let's take her to 60. Yeah, it says 65 on there. We'll take her to 65. 
Yeah, that looks about right. Take them 65 inch pounds. Make sure you guys show in the video. I'm notorious for that. Five inch pounds there. Get off of there. Now we're gonna take her to 90. Looks about there. There's 80. 90. 90 inch pounds. Yes, baby girl. Let's see if everything still spins. Oh yeah, nice and firm. There's a hair in there. Look at that. Nice and firm, but it isn't beyond any realm of reason. Excellent. There we go. So guys, this is not difficult. Build something, please. I played video games for a long time. I like watching them and everything, but this is simple. You, see, you watch this right here. Get the tools and you'll have them. I paid 10 bucks for Harbor Freight for this. All right. Get out there, build something, have fun safely. I'm not saying chainsaws are exactly the safest thing in the world, but, you know, get your hands dirty. It's all I'm promoting. So. Ew. And our head gasket is also going to be the stock one. Like I said, we're just testing to see how things run. Um, and see what compression numbers are. i got to get compression testers still. So that, and then we'll get the head bolts and everything. They're floating around here somewhere and stuff like that. And put the head on there and... We'll slap some muffler on her and because I'm not going to build a tune pipe for this one yet. And everything. We're just going to go proof of concept that uh, she runs and then we're going to really fine tune from there and that. Slap a head, flywheel on her, get the stuffer plate, which if you guys don't remember what it looks like, I've already built gaskets for it. It's that crusty piece of work, which we will be getting cleaned up here too. Get the stuffer and everything and whatnot and the coil. I've got that. I mean, we'll literally build a race saw in a weekend's time, or at least a faster than stock saw, I guess. I mean, I'm having fun with this one. I'm not, I've got not much sunk into it other than I'm out $100 from the last block that I, I've written it off. I'm never going to see it again. So, that is that with it. Of course, we got the flywheel, and then there's a key floating around here somewhere. Yeah. I'll find that later. I'm pretty sure one of my videos shows me being an idiot. And put it somewhere I shouldn't have. One of the bags, one of the things, one of the somethings, one of the... Who knows? Like the one thing I promised I wouldn't lose in this whole thing. But anyways, oh wait, there's my there's my side cover bolts. Oops. Oh well, I don't care. Nope. Not caring. It's fun. So anyways, go eat watermelon here. I'll see if I can find that key off screen. We get... I'm debating on what flywheel to run. I was told any flywheel can work, and I've got one where the outside where the fins are shaved down i mean i'm told racing saw and if you're going to use a firewood cutter you're going to want quite a bit of wind flow if you're going to race take the fins down pretty much to nothing and she'll spin faster for you so i guess we'll start with stock and we'll just work our way to faster and faster until it goes ping and then we knew our limit what that is i don't know so, all right, we'll be back to this in a bit. Let's, let's bleed some water on. All right, now I'm back from outside from eating watermelon. 
get a start on this. I already started. And I'm like, wait, turn the camera on. Um, pretty much cleaned off the head gasket and everything and kind of clean off the inside of here. So I don't know. We'll do a little bit of this for a moment, show you what we're doing, and then we'll uh, turn the camera off or whatever or something like that. And I don't know. Time lapse, maybe? What do you all think? Yeah. Let's do a time lapse of things. Been a while. Yeah, there we go. So cleaner. Er. There we go. Shit'll buff out, right? Maybe scrape some stuff out of there. But other than that, yeah. Clean enough. Dirty lives up to the name. Oh, yes. And after looking, I still got to clean the stuffer. I don't think I'm going to do that in here for right now, but maybe there's our key. So what do we want to do, guys? We'll just slap on a flywheel. Whatever I do with the nut, yeah, it's right there. Oh, everybody and their brother sticking to it. Still debating on which head to put on. I mean... You got this one that's not as deep, but it's wider, and then you've got this one that is deeper, but it's not as wide, so which one's going to give me the better combustion chamber? And I think I'm going to ask around and see which one ultimately would be better in the end. I mean, this one also looks like it has been milled down a little bit as I put them up together, and there is a thickness difference, so I'm wondering in the end, though, that one would be my better bet to run, but we'll try that one for our runner, I guess we'll build it on. So, but we'll get to that. Let's get this flywheel on, shall we? Well, of course you're gonna go in there. Don't ask. Don't ask questions, you don't wanna know the answer. Oh yeah, yeah, and what I always do is I'd spill two cycle. I put a little bit around the taper so if I gotta take her off again next time, it won't suck as bad. Or will it? No, it won't. Starting to look like something. Of course, I used to take pictures along the way for the album and everything, but, uh, well, I see I ended that a long time ago. Uh, How many clickety-clacks you guys think it takes? One, two, all the clickety-clacks, or do we go into the ugga -dubbas? Paul Booger and these threads up. Of course, I might have hit the lock, locking portion of the nut there, too. So. Uh -huh. No, I was right. There we go. I do I got some in my finger. Uh, I'm so disorganized. There it is. Just buzz that on there real quick. Just a real quick tap on, and then we'll finalize stuff. Just put that like there for now. See, that wasn't too difficult. 
We don't have anybody making contact on the backside. Starting to look like something, ain't it? So I guess I'll ask, uh, well, I'll take pictures of that and everything, but uh, what do you say, next video? I don't know how lengthy this one's getting. So we got the main block together. Next video, we'll uh, start putting other goodies on, and maybe tomorrow, I mean, I'll ask the guys which one of these heads would be the better choice in the end. We got spare parts from the other blocks, sadly. That was not my intent. So, soon. Very uh, No? I had a crack. Soon. All right, we'll just do that soon. So. Anyways, there we go. Getting Dirty 44 back together. Um, yeah, I mean, it's a... Got to get the hardware for the coil still to sit on there and everything and whatnot. And I mean, well, the other block technically does still have a coil on it, so... Could have this running by the weekend. I don't know. So anyways, I don't know, we may truck on here, we may not, so yeah, we'll figure it out. Actually, we'll wrap that video up. Um, gonna ask a few questions about head gaskets and everything and how people cut theirs out and everything and make them. So till then, thanks for watching.